In this episode, I'm going to tell you all about cats. Just kidding. In this episode, I'm going to share with you how spontaneous healings from virtually any disease occur as a result of certain brain waves, which is a fact that's being documented over and over and being studied by science more and more. I'm going to tell you exactly what those brain waves are, their additional benefits, and I'm going to show you how you can achieve this frequency. So as some of you might know, because I've said it on this channel before, I went to the Vipassana silent 10 day meditation course and before I went there, and even when I was there, I heard in the teacher's discourses that some people went to the Pasana and they got healed from various diseases. And I kept wondering, how can healing happen through meditation? Until I started reading up on different states of consciousness, the research being conducted right now in the field of neuroscience and all the evidence that we have from that. So later, when I was closely studying the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza, who's a neuroscientist who's producing a considerable and accessible volume of knowledge around this field and links it to states of consciousness like manifestation, what Dr. Joe does is he runs these week-long events, right? Where people can go and learn how to meditate, among other things, and learn all about these states and how the human consciousness interacts with the quantum field, which is basically all around us and produces measurable effects both in the brain of the observer and the outside world itself. So if you go to his Instagram, you will see not one, not two, not three or four or five testimonials from these events, but you're going to see them over and over again. You're going to see how people say when they went to these events and meditated using the specific meditation the dispenser does. And what happened is that they had instant healings from diseases ranging from cancer uh, to MS to SIBO to um, thyroid disease to all sorts of things. Blind people actually got their sight back. There's such a body of evidence that to me is really exciting. And honestly, you should just check it out. It's on Dr. Dispenza's Instagram. So how exactly does this healing occur? It's nothing other than what is referred to as the gamma pop. And when the gamma pop happens, healing instantaneously occurs. The best thing about this and the most fascinating component is that it's a natural function of the human brain that's doing it. Natural being a bit of an oversimplification, but whatever the case, the point is that the person concerned is doing it on their own. The gamma pop has to do with gamma brain waves, which is a frequency of brain waves that were essentially unknown before the development of the digital EEG. Um, they are, in essence, a frequency pattern of normal brain activity that measures around 40 hertz in humans. Gamma brain waves are considered the brain's optimal frequency of functioning because when the brain goes into gamma, the whole neural network fires up in sync. When someone is in the gamma brain frequency, they have rapid, and vivid memory recall. Theoretically, people with a permanent gamma function would be able to tell word by word what you said, including your gestures, the color of your clothes, and all of the background sounds in great detail if they were recounting an experience. The gamma brainwave activity has been associated with high levels of intelligence, for example, or natural feelings of compassion, greater self-control, greater than average feelings of natural happiness. Gamma brainwaves are the fastest brainwave frequency with the smallest amplitude. Neuroscientists believe that gamma waves are able to bring together information from all parts of the brain. 
the gamma wave originates in the part of the brain called thalamus and moves from the back of the brain to the front and back again 40 times per second. What this rapid full sweep does is it produces peak mental and physical performance. Is what we call being in the zone. <laughs> Elite athletes, genius musicians, and high achievers in all fields produce far more gamma waves than average. Everyone has gamma brainwave activity, but the amount of gamma waves produced varies. They are usually very weak in people, but quite prominent, for example, in Tibet, Tibetan monks. In 2002, a Tibetan monk by the name of Mingwir Rinpoche, hope I'm pronouncing that right, traveled from Nepal to Wisconsin to have his brain studied while he meditated. A special head device with 256 thin wire sensors was used to measure his brain waves. He was asked to alternate between one minute of meditation on compassion followed by 30 seconds of rest and do this four successive times. So as soon as Mingguir began to meditate, researcher Richard Davidson, who was conducting the experiment and his colleagues, saw a huge burst of electrical activity on their monitors. Why was this a surprise? Because most people cannot enter these states spontaneously while they're not moving. These bursts of electrical activity are commonly a result of involuntary movement, but that was not the case for the Tibetan monk. They re-examined the monk's brain with fMRI and they were once again convinced that these results were something extraordinary. The same protocol was later used on 21 more Buddhist monks. They all had similar results to the first one. What's incredible is that all the monks had elevated gamma oscillations, not just during meditation, but even during baseline measurements of their everyday neural activity. So what this means is basically that there's a neural signature showing permanent transformation in the brain as a result of meditative states. So how does all this apply to healing disease, you may wonder. When you move up into 40 hertz, gamma, and even higher than that, what happens is that it synchronizes the brain across frequencies and across the lobes, right? The brain becomes more coherent and efficient, and there is less noise. This is powering up your body and your brain, and get this, gamma produces new neurons like crazy. Theta frequencies do too, sure, and any physical activity that you enjoy may do that as well, but gamma, it's like Santa Claus on crack delivering neurogenesis. <laughs> if you go into gamma and the wave is coherent with the rest of the pattern, then the two hemispheres of the brain are coherent and as a result, the brain is coherent. The body is coherent. And what's gonna happen? Your own brain waves are going to heal disease. You are going to get to a default mode, to an optimal state. A lot of neuroscience research has advanced data analysis tools now that you can see the moment someone goes from being incoherent, right? in the brain and having their brain waves all over the place and the moment it goes totally coherent and the healing happens. They've measured this thousands of times now. So um, Secret Othmer, I think that's the name, neurofeedback pioneer and chief scientist of the EEG Institute has talked extensively about this and how the brain essentially resets in the super low frequencies. It resets from being incoherent. It resets from illness and even from disease. When the brain is down there, it's like it's saying, ah, now I see that we took all the stress off. So what I can do now is a master 
reset to where I know is my optimal psychological state. Then it's ready to go up into gamma. When you go into this frequency, you move into a super conscious state, right? Where there is a relaxed arousal. That's what happens. It's like the brain is taking a quantum leap and connecting to an intelligence that is greater than any human intelligence can ever be. It's like the lights are going on. You have the inflow of information on different levels and everything is working together in complete unity. Intuition, instinct, intellect, chemical processes, huge amounts of neurogenesis and neuroplasticity, which is rewiring your circuits, things you're not even aware you're controlling, and sending increased voltages of coherent light into every single cell and atom of the body. So then, that's when healing takes place. So how do you produce this gamma brainwave activity? If you're really wanting to heal something specific, I highly recommend Dr. Joe Dispenza's work. There are a lot of resources on his website. You can start from there. If you want to explore the gamma brain waves for the purposes of increased mental processing or happiness or optimized perception of reality, unbelievable focus, better self-control and richer sensory experience that comes with being in gamma, the answer is simple. Meditate. <laughs> Meditation produces the theta brainwave state, right? We all know that. And the gamma brainwave will develop because it rides like a carrier wave on the delta. Basically, the low frequencies lead to the high frequencies, which travel down into the low frequencies. It's like a biofeedback loop. You can actually train yourself to produce more gamma frequency. Another way that I highly recommend is after you finish your meditation session, whatever that is, focus on compassion and love. This hugely increases the gamma output. They've measured this. When you're trained on Vipassana meditation, you're taught at the end of your session to do the loving kindness meditation. That's what we call it, which is basically you, you are sending out ripples of love and compassion and opening yourself up to those frequencies. It's like you're sending healing energy out into the world to whoever needs it and sending love, love, love. After you entrain to gamma in meditation, you can actually bring it with you into everyday life. So you're functioning in the super consciousness of the awakened mind that will deliver mental acidity, heightened creativity, insight, and as a bonus, access to Delta's psychic awareness. I'm sending you love. May you be happy peaceful, liberated. <laughs>